so you um, have already baked your cookies and you don't need any special moulds for these you can just use a big round one with a little round one to cut a hole out in the middle and the other things that you'll need are two types of icing we've got some thick royal icing which you can see is sort of a bit lumpy and it stands up that's for piping the edges and we've also got some runnier icing which will fill in the holly leaves okay first we've got the um, stiffer icing in a little piping bag and we're going to pipe some holly leaves on the uh, straight onto the biscuit like that Freehand into holly leaf shapes and just randomly pipe them around the edge, then like that, and then like that. And we've left a space to fill in with the other icing. Now, what you can do when you have small spaces is do really tiny ones. There was a letter. Yeah, there is a letter. Okay, we do tiny ones like that. And then we come back and you're just poking the icing in one direction and then the other. If it doesn't look exactly like a holly leaf, don't worry too much. I've got the runny icing in the other piping bag now. I tend to use plastic ones for um, runny icing. Now all we need to do is just let a bit of icing drop inside each of these holly leaf shapes. Next we get a cocktail stick and you coax the icing to the edge of each holly leaf shape with cocktail stick. And because you've got the border of the thicker icing, that stops the wetter icing from flooding over and going out of control. Okay, and you keep doing that until you end up with something like this. Ted has got his own ideas how to dry the biscuits. Okay, woo, careful. So doing this isn't compulsory, but if you've got a little person around who wants to help, then you can go right a bit further away. We'll leave that for a while, shall we?